This is the Business Storytelling Show with Christoph Trapp. Name a top 20 storytelling podcast and a top 5% podcast globally, Christoph chats with thought leaders and experts to share tips and tricks that can help you tell your company's stories better to drive business results. Available wherever you listen to podcasts, live streamed on major social media channels, and part of the DB&A television network, available on most U.S. television sets and streaming on Roku and Amazon Fire. Here's Christoph with today's episode. Let's go. Hey, 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 business storytellers. Just me on episode 557. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. We want to talk about content accuracy for a moment. This is also an article over on ChristophTrap.com. And content accuracy is so important, even in corporate storytelling. So let's dive into what we're talking about in the article here and share it with you on this network, on these networks as well. So first of all, content accuracy matters and corporate content strategy shouldn't be exempt from it, especially when we're trying to build our subject matter experts and company leaders up as thought leaders. The content has to be accurate. We can't just be making stuff up. We can't just be shooting from the hip. Let's know what we're talking about. Let's know that it is correct. But how do we achieve content accuracy? And what does that even mean? So let's discuss that. First of all, what is content accuracy? Content accuracy means that the content that we publish is correct. Verifiably, it's correct. It's not incorrect. We didn't make it up. We're not lying. The facts aren't made up, but are true. Content accuracy doesn't prohibit us from being aspirational. You know, in the future, I think it might be like this. In the future, here's what we're trying to accomplish. You can certainly have a goal. You can certainly be a thought leader. You can certainly look forward to something like like that. But you can't be making stuff up. Be sure it's true. So how do we ensure content accuracy? There's really several ways you can go about this. First of all, talk to credible sources, your subject matter experts, your executives, whoever knows the answers. Um, and you know, don't fidget with the facts. Um, one time I had a writer say to me, they changed a quote because the way the quote was written didn't fit the flow of the story. Craziest thing I've ever heard, seriously. That is being inaccurate. You want to make sure you're accurate. So don't fiddle with stuff. Don't fidget with it. Don't change it to make it flow better, but be inaccurate. So make sure uh, you talk to people who are credible, that they know what they're talking about. And certainly that does work. You may have firsthand experience of something. So if you were seeing something or you tried it, you know, I do this all the time on my blog at ChristophTrap.com. I talk about things that I've tried, that I've seen work, and, you know, that's firsthand experience. You know, if I I don't have a travel blog anymore, but when I did, I would write about what happened. You know, this is what happened. These are the rules. This is the scenario. And you can certainly talk about that. Um, Just be careful when you're trying to tell people what other people's intentions were. Intentions are really, really hard to play back, but what isn't hard to play back is what you saw what you heard. Um, And, you know, if you're not sure, don't play it back. You can also have an opinion on a topic. So opinions are interesting. Uh, I just read an article the other day. uh, So I'm obviously at Iowa, in in Iowa, and uh, also went to the University of Iowa. And the football coach at Iowa, Kirk Ferns, who I played under for two years, in my last two years at Iowa, uh, his son, Brian Ferns, who came to Iowa as a player the year after I was done at Iowa, is the offensive coordinator. Not doing too well. He's, you know, his offense last in the country. So this Cleveland.com columnist wrote an article about um, how he thinks nepotism should not be a thing in college football. You shouldn't be allowed to hire your children or relatives or whatever to be on your staff. And it's a very common thing. I think he said 25 out of 60 um out of 60 of the biggest pro- programs, college football programs, have some kind of nepotism going on where somebody on the staff is related to the head coach. And um, 
so he reported the details. These details are not, they're true, right? Brian is Kirk's son. He's working for him, even though the university is saying the athletic director is his actual boss. But at the end of the day, an assistant coach certainly um, works for a head coach. Um, I mean, practically speaking, right? I mean, they're, they're working together in, in the football facilities. But my point is, I'm not giving an opinion on that whole thing. I'm just telling you the facts. So this columnist reported all the facts and then gave an opinion. So you can certainly do that as well. Just make sure you know the facts too. And then based on the facts, you use the facts to back up your opinion, right? So something to keep in mind. The final thing I want to mention is the importance of wording, using the right words, using the words that accurately reflect whatever it is you're talking about. This is so important. And I think sometimes, you know, less experienced content creators, perhaps for lack of a better term, uh, you know, they might take some liberty of how a word can be used, but the word matters and it has to be accurate. So make sure, yes, you can write in your unique voice. Yes, you can do all that. But content accuracy comes back to picking the right words. Those are the words that correctly describe what it is that you're talking about. If you're unsure, you know, use dictionary.com or something like that. Look up the words, see what the actual definition is. So content works for companies to grab consumer attention, no doubt. But when the content is misleading or just downright wrong, it can also hurt trust. That's why content accuracy matters. And there are steps we can take to make sure our content is accurate, helpful, and of high relevance to our target audience. So stay real, make sure your content is accurate and share value and build your business, build your audience, grow together. I'm Christoph Trapp. Connect at ChristophTrapp.com. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Please rate and review our show on your favorite podcast channels. And don't forget to share this episode with your networks. We appreciate you. Until next time, let the best stories win.